Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. We're on the streak and we're due for a random run. We randomed Isaac. That feels pretty good. Uh, hopefully, we are able to make some good stuff happen here. We had a really difficult Isaac run on our last run, if I remember correctly, preceded by a really difficult Samson run uh, that made things quite tricky. Now, Isaac is the best random, right? Isaac and Kane are seriously just like automatic uh, fun times. I think I actually am going to take the bomb bag right from this first floor because it will allow us to find secret rooms, uh, well, more readily. I wouldn't necessarily say more easily, but, you know, we'll have more resources available to use uh, to find these secret rooms. And those secret rooms could contain items that would really help me out. Getting a key, also extraordinarily beneficial, but for now, let's just move on. And uh, it's shaping up to be a very, very average first floor, if I do say so myself. Uh, given our, like, fairly middling quality item, which is palatable, and, uh, maybe an HP upgrade from the boss. Ideally an HP upgrade from the boss, that's what I want the most, at least. It's gonna be a larger floor because of the, uh, Curse of the Lost, but in any case, if this floor so far was a meal from American cuisine, it would be, like, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and a little bit of gravy. Maybe some mushrooms on the side or something like that, just to get a little freaky, but yeah, it's, uh... It's pretty standard so far. There's nothing wrong with meatloaf. Why don't people say that? People are always insulting vanilla. They're always saying, oh, this runs so vanilla. You're having such a vanilla time. Why don't you put your finger in my butthole? Everything you do is always so vanilla. Why don't you stop insulting vanilla? Start going to meatloaf. That's way better. Like, oh, put your finger in my butthole. I want to feel what meatloaf feels. Uh, it doesn't... I, now I get it. Okay. Put your meatloaf in me. I don't know why I went straight to Danny DeVito there, but in any case... We're going to be fighting the uh, pin here, which is the easiest boss fight that we could probably face. Sometimes tedious, but oh good, Cat of Nine Tails. We can re-roll that into the coin purse. We may not have an opportunity to re-roll it beyond that, so that's unfortunate. Uh, that took my bomb and didn't even give me the Tinted Rock? That's kind of crazy, isn't it? It's not even the secret room. I will open this, though, because we have extra keys. Oh, fucking Christ. All right, um, I take it back, game. You're no longer a meatloaf. You're unless the meat is shit, then that's what you are. I don't know. I'm sorry, troll engine. I don't mean to insult you, but uh, it, hopefully this is just a you know an errant floor, and it's not setting the tone for what's going to be a difficult run. It does look like we'll be taking the coin purse. Coin purse could be good. Typically, I I consider it a little bit better than it is worse. Guppy's tail we will take, and I can do this without dying, so we'll come through here. That's an awful lot of money. There is a theoretical chance that these both contain uh, pennies, or one of them contains a nickel. They don't. Then we could uh, go to the shop, but so be it. Things happen. We will pick up our health, and I guess we'll pick up our range upgrade, and I guess we will pick up our coin purse as well. Hopefully we don't get bombs or key out of this coin purse, but we'll see. Uh, three of the same kind, so this is, uh, we live or die based on this. That's really awesome, so we're gonna get a full suite of orbitals. Uh, they're not very good offensive orbitals, but, uh, even just getting three defensive orbitals is a huge pickup for us. And then we got a health downgrade. So, that floor was, shall we say, rife with positives and negatives. It was up and down. Would I trade one red heart for a full suite of orbitals? Absolutely. I would prefer not to, though. Now, the good news is, if we find, uh, more of those pills, we can... Theoretically, maybe get a health upgrade if we maybe we'll talk about it uh, for now. I'm gonna get a reroll charged up because I want to use it for either the curse room or the item room. I would love to have some more HP. Oh, okay, that was scary. I would love to have some more HP before I uh, really committed, but these guys are all gonna explode. I thought about trying to get them to find. A secret room and actually they did by accident so disregard that now that we have two keys we'll go to the item room and I was saving uh, one of these keys for the shop because I imagined we would get enough money inside of here we have uh, enough money so there it is right there so without any red hearts I might leave this curse room for now do keep in mind we are one-third of the way to becoming guppy by way of guppy's tail what does that mean it means if I uh, have the ability to get like nine lives at this point I should probably pick it up Kamikaze is god awful, so we're gonna reroll that right off the bat. Um, there's almost nothing I can imagine being worse. And then we get Skeleton Key combined with Guppy's Tail. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm still kind of like coming down with some congestion here. I'll just have three or four two liter bottles full of coffee, and that'll clear the, uh, the old esophagus right out. Um, no, but sincerely, uh, Skeleton Key is amazing here because combined with Guppy's Tail, uh, that means we're gonna be opening up all of these golden chests. And if I can't open up all of the golden chests, that's okay. 
because that will mean I have opened up 99 doors over the course of a run. It's hard to be salty about that. Now, we are going to try to get to uh, another reroll prior to this room, but it's probably not going to happen. And now I definitely don't want to use a bomb to theoretically bomb my way into the shop, which actually is a, a possibility, as you can see right there. Instead, it seems much smarter for me to uh, use a key, considering we have 99 of them. And we probably... Uh, we will get a reroll, but it'll be after the boss room, so that's fine. That's uh, I could have tried to find the second secret room with that, which probably would have been smart. I think it's okay to buy the steam sale in this situation. You may agree or disagree. That's your uh, that's your right. I'm trying to think. I guess we'll go fight the boss first. I was thinking like maybe I'll go to that uh, curse room and then I'll buy the spirit heart. It's gonna give us a cube of meat, and you might be saying like, oh, you know, you don't want a cube of meat. You already have a full suite of orbitals. That is like previously my way of thinking, and it's a way of thinking that you know you can really get behind because it, it makes logical sense. However, a cube of meat actually is a an objective upgrade over a pretty fly. Not just because it can become like a second or third or fourth level cube of meat if we uh, you know play our cards right, but also because it actually does offensive damage. Where uh, whereas pretty flies only do uh, you know defensive capabilities. They only stop us from taking damage. They don't actually uh, do damage in and of themselves. So. I'll be happy to have one cube of meat. I would prefer if we'd gotten just like an HP tiers damage upgrade here, something along those lines, but uh, I'm okay with this. Because I think we've earned a good deal with the devil opportunity, and well, we've, we've at least earned a deal with the devil opportunity, and if there is nine lives, I will be taking it. I can't take anything else. The only thing I can take is nine lives. I can't even take Guppy's Paw. I think it'll get me killed, but um, sure, we're, we're done with this then. I am in a very weird position on this run. I'm in a position where I think if we end up finding uh, the catacombs instead of the caves, things are going to be kind of rough. All right, nothing in there. But less than normal starting health with Isaac. What else do we get on this floor? Steam sail, skeleton key, and one cube of meat that replaced a pretty fly. That's not a huge upgrade. That being said, we've still got plenty of time to make this work. We're going to buy uh, we're gonna buy our tarot... Not tarot card, sorry. We're going to buy our... Uh, Spirit heart in there just to give us a little bit more health in case we do go to the catacombs especially like catacombs XL or something like that Hopefully we don't have XL floors because we want to obviously visit every shop for the remainder of the game given that we have uh, The steam sale and a crazy number of keys. Thank God we're on the caves. This doesn't absolve us of danger at all uh, But it does make it more likely that I'll be okay and remember that this shop actually cannot have a mini boss on it It can still be bad, but it, it can't have a mini boss, which is important. And, you know, because we're in this situation where we could get a second level cube of meat, I think it makes sense to buy um, Book of Revelations. And we're not going to keep it. We're just going to buy it and put it back down. And then we have a reroll pedestal. So we paid seven cents for a spirit heart and turning one of our orbitals into a familiar. Which might actually be, oh, Kane's eyes, like, I think it's okay for its tears upgradeness. Um, but, uh, yeah, it might actually be a bad thing because we maybe have cost ourselves getting a vanilla boss fight where we could have gotten an HP upgrade. And that, you know, is obviously something that is on my mind right now as I only have 2 HP, but uh, I think it's an okay trade. It also gave us a Spirit Heart, which is not quite an HP upgrade at this point in the game, but that's okay. And we'll still be able to reroll it into something else. I mean, that's the thing is that I'm thinking if we get enough rerolls, I should be able to buy... Or I, I would have probably bought whatever was on sale for 7 cents anyway. So why not take the advantage of getting it right now and uh, then we'll reroll it anyway and maybe get something else later. So for 7 cents, instead of getting, you know, just a Nun's Habit, not that that would be bad, that would obviously be amazing. Uh, but we would also get, you know, a Nun's Habit and a guaranteed second level cube of meat and a Spirit Heart, etc, etc. Uh, so what do we need? We, we need all of the, the, the tools to make a good Isaac run. Except for a good, uh, good space bar item, which we have right now. We need... No, oh, careful. Uh, we need damage and we need HP. And, you know, rate of fire wouldn't hurt either. But uh, we definitely need damage and HP. I said rate of fire, not rain of fire. The um, movie that if you saw in 2003, probably wouldn't have expected that Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale would ever be in Oscar contention. But things change. Now, caves have been fairly good so far. I don't like this room. Mind you, we ended up dodging fairly well there. I'm pretty impressed with the the kind of like standard Isaac skills that I've been demonstrating over the course of this run. If I'd taken a little bit more damage, we could have found ourselves in a very dire position, but we haven't taken any extra damage, so that's okay. We'll reroll uh, into the bum friend, which is not very good at all. We're gonna reroll bum friend again. 
And I do have bombs necessary to actually get this tinted rock, which is nice for a change. Okay, thank God we didn't find ourselves in a position where I just got boxed in by these guys. So, we have an item room. This is an important room, in fact. Please give me small rock. Alright, well, we got one more spirit heart. That's okay. And Bloody Penny is actually really good if we end up finding uh, blood banks. You've seen it happen many, many times in recent memory. Now, here's the real question. Dead Sea Scrolls. Book of Belial. Okay. This floor is probably uh, approaching its end, which is scaring me because now we have two things that warrant a reroll. Would I rather reroll a uh, Bum Friend or Dead Sea Scrolls? Honestly, I'd probably rather reroll Bum Friend just because I'm more confident in the shop pool. We could we could reroll. I mean, we can get bad items if we reroll either of them. Um, but we've already paid. Oh, that is so useful. Thank you, Guppy's Tail and Skeleton Key combo. We've already paid seven cents for an item, and we've already gotten some benefit out of it. But you know, we might as well try to get more for free. Basically, I think we paid a key and seven cents to get that uh, Book of Revelations, which is basically just seven cents, given that uh, you know we have ninety-five keys still remaining. But I, I like that better. And of course, we could reroll Dead Sea Scrolls, and we can get Shoot the Whoop, we can get the Unicorn Horn, etc., etc. So we don't want stuff like that. And Bloody Penny, not necessarily super useful for us right now, but that's okay. We may indeed get one more reroll, but if we end up, you know, getting map, compass, 9-volt, nun's habit, or the battery, and we leave this item room, I'm not going to be too sad about it. So we reroll it, and that's the map, which we'll definitely take. So the map is such a good item, because it very easily, I never would have looked there for a secret room, by the way, but it very easily allows me to find the secret room, which should give me more money over the course of the entire game, so it pays for itself, eventually. That was maybe not the best example of it, but with seven cents, that's one more shop basically uh, in order for us. And now that we have this money, we'll probably get an arcade on the next floor too, which is huge because obviously we need that HP. So, we're starting to pull a little bit on a seam here. Would be very nice to become Guppy, that's still kind of my major focus even though we did take some more HP. Probably shouldn't have done that until we saw uh, what our boss room had on order, but that's okay. We've, we've made our bed and... Uh, you know, if I become Guppy, having one less HP than I would otherwise have is pretty unlikely to be the most important thing on my mind. If it is, then I probably fucked up somewhere else down the line. And please tell me this isn't a uh, self-sacrifice room. Pop up. Uh, please tell me this isn't a self-sacrifice room. Please tell me this isn't a self-sacrifice room. Hey, it's not. Okay, so we actually have combat, which means there will be one, maybe one and a third more rerolls available on this, uh, on this floor. So ideally, we get a great item from the boss. Good deal with the devil or angel options, and then um, I can reroll Dead Sea Scrolls into something that's even better, hopefully. I really need damage, as you're probably noticing here, though. So, we'll fight our boss. Caves Part 1. It should be Pestilence. It is Pestilence. This is very nice. Um, get our second level cube of meat. That is a little bit more damage, and now that we picked up um, a little bit of HP slightly earlier on this run, thank god, we got uh, that without having to use a bomb. Now that we picked up a little bit of HP earlier on this run, or on this floor I should say, I'm not necessarily as needy when it comes to getting red hearts, or sorry, getting red heart containers I should say. I don't need them as much as I did earlier, but I still need more. It's just not as urgent perhaps. Let's use one bomb here against Pestilence. Uh, that may not have hit at all, it might have just slightly hit. My damage is pretty poor right now, uh, as you can tell from my Pestilence fight, but hopefully, you know, uh, second level Meat Boy helps us out a little bit in that regard. That was a very tricky dodge. Hello, Ruka. You're gonna come up here and bother Tomo when he's sleeping? That's, you know, standard cat logic, I would say. How'd you like, uh, you know, running around the house as loud as you possibly could at 5 in the morning? It was pretty nice, huh? Yeah, I had a really good time with that as well. Uh, well, I was trying to sleep, but, you know, don't worry about me. I'm just the guy who you know, bought you like buying a droid from a freaking Jawa trader or something. And, you know, pays for your food and cleans your poop up and stuff like that. I don't need sleep, though. It's okay. I'm a little sleepy. But, you know, I've been sleepy for a while, and that has allowed me the strength necessary to succeed on the streak here. So there's our second level Meat Boy. We're gonna go back and we uh, obviously can reroll the uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. I totally forgot that we had the meat boy, or that we were gonna get a second level cube of meat, I should say, uh, when I was talking about like, oh, what kind of items do we want? We'll totally take three dollar bill, it's acceptable. Um, and we'll pay attention if we can to see what kind of tier effects we get on any individual room. It is important, a uh, three dollar bill is basically like, I mean, I think it's objectively good, as long as you don't have Ipecac, but it can be objectively amazing if it gives you mom's contact on like really important rooms, like this one. Uh, is not really important, but imagine if this had been like the mom's heart fight or something like that. 
then it would have been very useful, right? It appears that this was uh, the wrong direction to go. Because as you can see, I have found myself in, uh, you know, no item opolis. Oh, wait, maybe not. We'll probably reroll that, even though a speed upgrade might be useful. I will check out the secret room as well. Just wanted to have a reroll uh, ready, just in case. This is my reflection. Uh, just in case there was a uh, an item in that secret room, which is not the most likely scenario, but it can happen. And if it is an item, we may want to reroll it. If it's a fetus item, we'll reroll it. We've had those a little bit too frequently lately, even though I am trying to keep the streak alive. I'm also trying to keep some goodwill with people. You know, not just use epic fetus every single run. Mom's not even brimstone, maybe, but... <laughs> Epic Fetus, no way. Well, we'll see if we need to use a reroll here. Um, yeah, we do. Okay, so I'm glad that we, we handled that properly. We can always take the speed upgrade if we have to. I know. I know. It feels bad, doesn't it? I don't disagree. I thought about picking it up and then using it, but then I was like, wait a minute. If I pick it up, then I'll have to use it forever. So that would be uh, less than ideal. So it's cool that the item showed up, but I'm not going to use it. At this point, that would be... It would seem a little cheesy. We're not quite in the situation where that's absolutely 100% necessary. So we got super lucky. We got uh, Steven from one of our golden chests. That's wonderful. There's a golden chest back here I can't open without the ability to fly. I still want to open that, or sorry, reroll that speed upgrade if possible. We have a little bit more exploration to do, though. I'm going to go to that boss room, but not until I'd gone through. Oh, that was the first damage we've taken in a while. Uh, and the second damage we've taken in a while. Not the third, though, thankfully. I figured we might as well just get... Um, one more, uh, one-third of a reroll charge before we committed to anything in this boss room. Really hoping there's an arcade on this floor. It's like, ideal? Shop with Nun's Habit and then the arcade. That would make this floor, like, potentially really, really amazing. Ah, uh, and this is actually really good, too. So we're fighting the Fallen. I believe we have Mom's Contact. So, if we can get a freeze in here. Maybe we don't have Mom's Contact. Oh, we do. We do, indeed. So freeze as long as you can. And, uh, it was bad damage. That's okay, though. Then we'll drop a bomb in here. And that did really well. The Fallen is actually a super easy boss fight. It's like fighting two greeds, basically. But instead of getting basically jack shit for your troubles, you get a, a free deal with the Devil item. And we could reroll it if we have to. I'm not sure if it rerolls to another deal with the Devil item. I think I've been burned by that in the past. Let's see, though. Demon Baby is adequate. It's not my favorite deal with the Devil item in the game, but it's adequate. I'll take it. Maybe a little bit compromising there, but that's okay. Do we know what we have? Pretty fly and we don't know. Pretty fly and bad gas. Okay, we didn't. We, there's no need for us to take pretty fly unless we get a third level cube of meat. But I'm not going back into that room. So, so far this floor has been very good. Let's see if we can reroll this uh, fetus item into something better. Dad's key is not something better. It's still pretty god awful, and it's looking increasingly likely since we haven't found a uh, arcade shop or item room that we're probably going to end up taking that speed upgrade here. And that's okay. I'm not going to be salty if that ends up happening. Because we could use a speed upgrade. We are, I mean, we're pretty quick on that room, but I think that was actually like a, a $3 bill effect that made us a little faster there. Which sounds silly because it gives you a random tier effect, but I think one of those random tier effects might be Skinny Odd Mushroom, which is why I moved a little faster there. Uh, we get a tarot card. The tarot card is the chariot. Very useful for uh, a blood bank type situation if we end up having one. And I think we're fairly likely to have an arcade on this floor. Obviously, we haven't found one yet, and that gives me a little bit of uh, anxiety about that, but I think we'll be okay. So many golden chests. That guppy's tail pickup was huge. And plenty of money. Lots of red hearts there. We get the battery. I'm going to get the battery. That seems like a good choice. Gives us a little bit more uh, reroll potential. Arcade. Uh, no arcade. Unfortunate. But we do have a mob trap room and an item room. And this is going to be basically our last reroll. We might be able to get one more if we take fucking forever on uh, these rooms. we have anything of note? We have a golden chest, so I'll definitely go in there. And we'll save this chariot card for the next floor. Book of Sin, you know, th this warrants a reroll as well. But I feel like the reroll on the secret room is more potent, maybe? We'll see, anyway. I'm only going to get one reroll at least, or one reroll at most, I should say. So might as well just use it in the place where it feels the best. And where does it feel the best? That's a darn good question. I have no idea. You know, if we roll the item room, we can get basically anything. There's value in that. But there's also, you know, some anxiety in that because a lot of basically anything is god-awful. So, um, re-rolling the secret room, you have a much more limited pool. But it's probably a better pool. You can get things like raw liver. Uh, what do we have in here? Teleport. That's pretty god-awful as well. You could re-roll this and maybe get something better. I don't know. I really don't at this point. <clears throat> but what I will do is probably 
Well, we'll go down to this last room and just see if there's anything in there, but, uh... This floor could have gone better, but I'm still pretty pleased with it, I'd say. And it's just, uh, just your standard room here. What do we have? Just a red heart. I'm gonna reroll the secret room item. I think it's just a little bit more valuable, theoretically. And it is one up. Which may or may not be a difference maker on this run, but at least it wasn't like Unicorn Horn, basically. So that was Catacombs Part 2. I think we're in an okay position for where we are in the game. We're gonna take the speed upgrade as well. Really wanted there to be an arcade on this floor. Especially since we have Bloody Penny. The more uh, arcades we can come across, the better, but... Still a little bit touch and go on this run. Hopefully this next floor will sort us out. Thank God it is not uh, XL. Instead, it's just the Depths Part 1, and immediately we find the Mitre. Good shit. This means if we get Little Chad, we won't pick it up. The Mitre is uh, a building block for an amazing run, theoretically. We're at number one, so we gotta be careful because these bomb flies, um, you know, they explode in your face if you get too close. Much like a porn star in his first day on the job. Now, we are going to go to the shop. I absolutely 100%, absolutely 100% expect there to be a mini boss in here and if there's not wonderful if there is maybe still wonderful if they drop an item we can reroll it but uh, i don't think he'll drop the steam sale considering we already have it and i don't know if he can drop anything else super greed can sometimes drop the quarter just money uh, and a golden chest which has you know more money well if we end up uh finding a temperance card there are like seven hearts right there hopefully this is a room of choice or a room of uh, value down here in the terminal Starring Tom Hanks and Catherine Zeta-Jones. There's one thing I know about Catherine Zeta-Jones. is She dips beneath the lasers. If there's two things I know about Catherine Zeta-Jones, it's don't perform cunnilingus on her or you'll get stage 4 throat cancer, apparently. Thank you for that mental picture, Michael Douglas. Now, I used two bombs here because I'm an idiot. That's okay. We got a golden chest which gave us Tammy's head. Not as good as the D6, but if we re-roll it, it becomes Rainbow Baby, which is, if nothing else, a pedestal. So, uh, so I'm going to call bullshit on this fight. Because there were three things here, and then all of a sudden, there were four heads and four bodies. That doesn't seem right to me. Um, the game's cheating a little bit. I always knew it, but now we've got photographic evidence to back it up. The real question is, uh, do I re-roll Rainbow Baby, or do I keep it? I already felt like I compromised taking Demon Baby. Rainbow Baby is one of the best familiars, though, in my opinion, at least. I think so. How could it not be? It's got... Well, what's the best familiar? D I'd say Demon Baby or Little Gish, and then uh, Rainbow Baby occasionally pulls from either, so it's at least got to be better than like the vanilla trinkets that are, or the, sorry, the vanilla um, familiars that you can often get, Sister Maggie, Brother Bobby, etc, etc, unless they actually do scale with damage and I'm a big old dummy. Careful here. Um, I mean, that Spirit Heart would be nice to get. The money is, is we can take it or leave it. I think I'm going to check out our secret room quickly, and obviously we know that it won't be a mini boss. It's a just convoluted room here. It's just more money. We had the magnet, apparently, for that room. Well, we might as well use at least one reroll on Rainbow Baby, and hopefully it turns out okay. We're still kind of sorely lacking damage and HP, but we're also in a fairly comfortable position, truth be told. Let's reroll this. Uh, Monster's Tooth is pretty bad, so that's going to be a high-priority reroll target, I'd say. We only do have the boss room and the item room left, so it's not like there's a, a whole bunch of rooms still remaining for me to search through here. Um, in terms of like rerolls, we we really only need to use rerolls theoretically once or twice. Hopefully they'll just be good right off the bat. Oh, we have a library though, so if there was maybe a little bit better items in in other rooms, we could, uh, well, particularly from that golden chest, we could focus on the library and maybe get uh, ourselves. Hey, sad onion is actually amazing. Maybe get ourselves a, a double item room. Check out our mob trap room, of course. Thanks for the half red heart. Not really that meaningful, but I I'm super stoked to have Sad Onion. This is the kind of item that uh, doesn't always get a lot of respect. I think largely because it just doesn't show up that often, at least for me. Um, but when it does show up, it has a huge impact on our success just by making our tiers, like, super frequent. We also have Mom's Contact on this room, so that is super nice. And they're not going to turn around. Oh, they turned around a little bit. And we get a speed upgrade. That's... Basically another reroll in my opinion. I'll take the 10 bombs. I will. Probably should have rerolled uh, Monstro's Tooth instead of rerolling. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I got very lucky there. And extremely 
you know, I got my comeuppance there. I was gonna say extremely unlucky, but that wouldn't necessarily be true. Uh, so Monstro's Tooth is still something I want to reroll, obviously. And I should have rerolled Monstro's Tooth instead of the speed upgrade. In the whole scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal, though. And our boss room will be right up here. Definitely don't need to trade bombs for keys at this point, I would say. Now, will we be able to get a uh, another reroll for our boss room? Probably not, actually, so maybe we will just instead go to our boss room right away. It's theoretically possible because we have the battery, but hey, third level Meat Boy. I really should have taken that pretty fly with me. But we're going to get a third level Meat Boy, so there is that. Is that good or bad? Uh, yes. <laughs> it is good or bad. I'm not always sure which. I'm going to take it no matter what because I, I pick, pick up almost every item given to me on a regular basis. And this is maybe the first run I've ever seen, or at least in a long time that I've ever seen, where we've gotten through the depths part one and have not gotten a single HP upgrade from a boss. It's kind of comical, if you ask me. There's our deal with the angel. Oh, if there's a benevolent lord in the universe, sacred heart, sacred heart, or the relic. The Bible is an automatic reroll. That means Monstro's Tooth is staying on this floor. Okay, so we get the relic. That at least gives us more HP combined with the uh, the miter. That's good, but also a little scary. I mean, as you might expect. And I don't think there's any point. I mean, there's no point in not using a key. I was sorry for the double negative there, but we should really use a key to go to the library is basically what I'm saying. Why? Because we have 82 keys. And this will at least take two more uh, books out of the rotation. I think we've already taken, like, Book of Sin out. Now we've taken Monster Man Well out. We obviously took Book of Revelations out. I don't know if the Dead Sea Scrolls we got will take Book of Belial out. Did we get Dead Sea Scrolls on this run, or am I thinking of, like, an earlier run? I don't remember. Anyway, 3 HP still, but Relic and Miter have the uh, theoretical chance to carry me. Curse of Darkness is good. Uh, well, not good, obviously, because we can't see where the secret room is, but it's not as bad as being on Necropolis. Let's put it that way. So I feel better about things. And if we could, oh, never mind. We will be able to find a secret room. And uh, we actually found the curse room adjacent to it as well. I will go into it. Even though, if this is an item, we wouldn't have been able to reroll it. But it's not an item, so no harm, no foul, I suppose. Now that our reroll is charged up, let's start making moves towards what I hope is a uh, special room. Especially if it's not the boss room. Uh, bad damage. And I think we're going to find that, <clears throat> you know, with 4 HP, thank God I do have the 1-up, just for like a last-ditch effort. But uh, I think we're going to find that with 4 HP... I'm going to find myself in a very difficult situation. I don't have 4 HP, I have 3 HP. Hopefully I'll have 4 HP by the end of this floor. Um, but yeah, the womb is going to be a, a real tall order. There go all of my spirit hearts. So, what do we do here? We may want to use the chariot card, I'll admit. But we do have um, Bloody Penny, which should allow us to get an awful lot of payouts. Please don't fuck with me on this one, game. I am really doing my best. We're in a chariot card quickly. This should give us enough money to at least uh, get more red hearts back so we can gamble a little bit more. I don't want to accidentally die on this floor. Like, that would be pretty unfortunate. Was there a red heart in the last room? I can't remember. No red heart there, huh? How about here? No. Okay, we're back in the saddle again. That was three in a row. Back to two hearts. Obviously, we don't need the money at this point. And actually, when we go down uh, IV bag. All right, so that's really unfortunate, but we can reroll it. So we'll pick it up, put it back down, and reroll it. And we get a uh, wooden spoon, which is not quite good enough. I would love to win some red hearts. Uh, you know what? Or win some pennies, actually. would be totally fine as well. Nothing there. With this amount of money, we should be fine. At least we have one reroll pedestal. It sucks that it's not the HP plus speed upgrade. HP has been real hard to come by on this run. Keep in mind, I'm still very much anxious about keeping the streak alive here. It's been a long run so far. It's okay. Uh, that's a pill. We don't know what it is. Speed up. Okay, well, I definitely don't need the wooden spoon now. Don't really ever want to be with Isaac starting health at this point in the game. Unless your damage is incredible. Uh, we got a tears upgrade from a pill there. That's pretty good. We got fly love, which is actually nice because now it means we'll have double rerolls in here. Fly love is most valuable to me as a, a reroll, basically. So now this room becomes way more valuable because we, you know, it's basically a double item room here. I'm just going to leave. I think we're okay on health for now. Or more bombs out here, okay. Um, so that, you know, it is what it is. It would have been nice if we'd gotten the HP upgrade there, but maybe we'll end up getting something even better now that we have uh, two pedestals that we can reroll instead of just the one. 
or instead of zero, theoretically two. Our shop contains the ladder, which is not very good. And for one bomb, we might as well check for second secret room here. We'll open up this uh, golden chest, obviously. No such luck. And the golden chest, spirit heart, well worth it. Obviously not going to go to the boss room just yet. We want to reroll the shop as well, so we have our work cut out for us. We still have an item room available on this floor as well. Um, but that'll be a ways away here. <clears throat> a ways away, a ways away, a ways away. In the Isaac, the binding of Isaac, the streak might end tonight. In the Isaac, the binding of Isaac, the streak might end tonight. You can do the Aweeba ways if you want to. What do we have in here? Well, maybe nothing of value, but we'll probably go through the room anyway. If you thought I was doing the, the, the really high part after that, no such luck. Also, my voice has been like this since 8th grade, so you can see probably why I got kicked out of choir. And people are like, who's the 40-year-old who snuck on stage? Um, it's not good enough. Spider butts, bad. Poison bombs are actually pretty good. Maybe my second favorite bomb effect. Hmm. We could pick up the poison bombs, and then we would have one room with spider butt, one room with a ladder. And even though the ladder is passive, we would reroll that because the, the pool there is better, I guess. But I think I prefer the idea of having like a, a double item room that maybe we can get better items out of because, you know, we're, we're kind of, we're not super terribly off right now. I know it might seem like we have basically no chance, and in fact some people are probably watching this and saying, actually you have a great chance. I think the answer is somewhere in the middle. I think we're a little bit behind where we should be, especially with respect to our HP, but also, you know, damage and, and tiers, tier effects, which is not good. But we have Skeleton Key, and, you know, without Skeleton Key, Guppy's Tail, this run probably would have been over by now. But, uh, I, I think we can bring it back. I just don't know that taking, like, middling items is the right way to do it. We already have 25 bombs, so we don't necessarily need more bombs. Or And more powerful bombs is good, but I don't think it's the most important thing for us to take right now. So instead, we're going to come down and uh, re-roll these. And we got Polyphemus, and we got five free bombs from Remote, de remote Detonator, uh, which means now we're going to focus on re-rolling the... Uh, shop instead so we can maybe get the compass. So getting Polyphemus obviously a huge play. This happens all the fucking time. I'm really glad that I didn't pick up uh, poison bombs, let's just put it that way. We still have an item room to come here as well. So we're still a little bit weak, honestly, and I hesitate to say that because Polyphemus is so good, but it's not a game winning item just by itself, but we don't have it by itself. That being said, I think we still need as much as we can possibly get to actually swing this and make it work. But again, you know, what do I say in The Binding of Isaac? You know, winning The Binding of Isaac is all about surviving long enough for the game to basically be forced into giving you a good item that you can build a, a game-winning run off of. And, and we're almost there. Especially if we still have a chance to become Guppy at some point. I'm just going to pop two of clubs right away because why the F not, you know? 60 bombs is... You, it doesn't really matter. 60 is 99 as far as I'm concerned. Apologies to any 60-year-olds out there. You're not nearly 100. Which actually probably feels bad, right? You'd probably rather be nearly 100 because then people would... If you're just 60, people are like, Yeah, you're old, but whatever. <clears throat> not that... I don't even think 60 is that old. The older I get, obviously. Eh, we'll take Nuts Habit. Not that I'm old either, but the older I get, uh, the, the more... The higher the age threshold for oldness goes, or elderliness. Now I'm like, damn, dude. I'm gonna be 60 in, like, 35 years. That's not that far away. 50 is like, I could still be, I could, well, not that I, I say still, like I've run a triathlon at any point in my life. I could be running triathlons at 50, man. 60's not even that old. Where, where do you get old? 95. That's where you become elderly, in my mind. And if I was 80, shit, man, like 150. Yet, you, no one on earth has ever been old, according to my definition, I guess. One bomb for two bombs seems like a kind of silly trade at this point, given our situation, wouldn't you say? I guess we'll pick up Shoop the Whoop. We've we've exhausted the entire floor. And that's exhausted me a little bit. But I think we've done some very good stuff here. And uh, you know, Shoop the Whoop is something we're not gonna take with us. We got the nun's habit. What did we get? Let's, let's nun's habit, polyphemus. That can't possibly be it. We also got a speed upgrade, I think, from a pill, and a tears upgrade from a pill. Doubled our bombs. 
That's pretty good. Let's just roll with it. Obviously, we knew we were fighting Mom. Um, I don't know what my special tear effect is here. I think it might be uh, Tough Love, aka, yeah, the teeth. Uh, the teeth with Polyphemus do an awful lot of damage, but they're not very reliable on a mathematical level to come out when I need them. That being said, I'm happy to have them when they choose to show up. So, we're done with this fight. Of course, we get a shot speed upgrade at this point. Thank you, Bloody Penny, for at least trying. And we get Pageant Boy! I re-rolled our shot speed upgrade thinking that it would have to give us an HP at some point, but nope. There's, uh, there's Pageant Boy. So, it's down to the next floor, I suppose. Pretty wild, uh, that I had six boss- Oh, yes, thank you. I had six boss fights without getting a single HP upgrade, and I even used- I mean, okay, three of them were cubes of meat. That sways the numbers a little bit, admittedly. But, the other three, I think I used rerolls on. We had a range upgrade, shot speed upgrade, I think we- did we have Cat of Nine Tails? I can't remember. HP is just not coming today, but we can still make this work. Thank God we got the one up, because things might go awfully wrong for me. That was awful damage on my part, but at least we'll be able to reroll maybe if something comes out of a golden chest on this fight once it's over. I doubt that'll happen, but it is a theoretical possibility. These guys should be dead pretty soon. And thank God we got those range upgrades over the course of this run. We got a nickel. Waka waka doo doo, yeah. Now, we're gonna just kind of throw in some long bombs here. We do have mom's contact, which is quite nice. We freeze these guys. Uh, we're giving third level Meat Boy a TV dinner. Do I want to fight death? I mean, shit, we've already committed to not having familiar Meat Boy. I guess we might as well go for broke with the uh, level four Meat Boy that does a little bit more damage. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It's not like we've built this run around the idea of us ever having HP to begin with. So this is not where we want to be. Polyphemus doing good work here when it actually hits, which is rarer than I'd like. And yeah, give me your golden chess. I have the compass, why did I still go in this direction? That's a really good point. Uh, we should just make our way to that boss room. It's probably a smart idea to explore the entire floor, as long as I'm stronger than the enemies that I'm facing, but... Uh, that's not the way that I play when we get down to this point of the game. And to be honest with you, not playing that way has served me pretty well. At least lately. So Super Greed is not not an ideal secret room, but could pay out with the quarter. And if he pays out with the quarter, then we can reroll it into anything from the secret room pool, I think. If that's how it works, then then awesome. If it's not, that's still pretty okay. He gave us a spirit heart at least, so it was worth our time. And oh, two spirit hearts and a couple of keys. It's good, I was getting a little low there. I've blown 25% of my stack over the course of this run. Opening every golden chest that I've seen. And you know, we've had a lot of golden chests. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. We've gotten some decent upgrades out of them as well. If nothing else, reroll pedestals, but of course there's been uh, many good things that we have uh, picked up. So, we can just keep it going here. Mom's Contact, a great uh, tier effect for us to have on any room, particularly boss rooms though, if we can make that happen. Really thought that shot would work. We have homing tiers on this room. You can tell sometimes just by looking at the tier effect. And, okay, well some of these pills are great. That actually, oh, we don't need it. We could re-roll it. And maybe we'll come in here first and see what, what maybe warrants a re-roll. Okay, so we should get fourth level Meat Boy. Which is actually really nice. Please don't give me like the pony here. I don't think he can. But I've been wrong before. So this is basically like the worst death of all time, as you've noticed. He just kind of hangs out. Uh, third level Meat Boy is going to chew him the F up. And we'll end up getting super strong as a result of this. I don't know what our tier effect is on this room. Doesn't really matter. Fight's basically over. Just got to time these appropriately. It's like an EKG. Well, I actually did hit, much to my surprise. Maybe a little bit more. Seriously? There we go. And we got to deal with the devil. So we want that cube of meat. Uh, and it's the quarter and the nail. The nail is pretty tempting. And so is re-rolling them. So I'm going to re-roll them. Guppy's head doesn't quite take us to where we need to be. So I actually am going to try to get another re-roll and re-roll the coin purse here. Sorry, not uh, the bottle of pills, I should say. We might get a chance to re-roll the deal with the devil again. Sometimes it just seems to happen. Fourth level Meat Boy, A-OK -okay in my books. Do a little bit more exploration here because we can afford to and Isaac's head is not very good. Thank God that wasn't the tick. I almost walked right over it. I'm going to recaffeinate for a second here. We know that there's no uh, library on this floor. 
because now we have we do have the compass so all right mom's contact doing good work and it, you want to talk about like unorthodox ways of making a run successful over the course of the streak uh, this is among the more unorthodox ones I would say and you know you might be saying whoa you got polyphemus that's not unorthodox yeah but I've never really I think made it work with this little HP and I'm pretty sure that this is the first run we've had even like a third level meat boy as opposed to a fourth level meat boy which is just crazy town and we only used the book of revelations to get one of the meat boys I'm starting to think it might not have even been necessary where do our rerolls go thank God we're getting so many spirit hearts by the way I think we just take the homing bombs that gives us five more. I was starting to get a little self-conscious about only having 70. Now we can use six of them and easily get down to 69. But, reroll the coin purse. Ah, yes! Okay! All is forgiven, game. That is why you do your due diligence. Except for that arcade. Fuck that arcade. Playing the victory parade. We earned it again! We did it, Reddit. I can't remember how many times recently I've gotten Mom's Knife. Uh, and if this is going to inspire like the greatest anger of all time if it is I apologize but the streak needs to live the streak needs to live and eventually you know I'm the whole reason I'm, I'm going as hard as I am on the streak is because I know that one day it'll all come crashing down you know Wayne Gretzky didn't win MVP every year that he was in the uh, National Hockey League Derek Jeter eventually is gonna stop sleeping with with beautiful women that's probably not true. Uh, but yeah, you gotta enjoy the, the good times while they last. No matter how many mom's knives you have to take to get that to happen. And normally I would say, hey, we're not in a one position yet. And we're not. And I guess we'll end up taking infestation. But, come on. We're in a pretty good position, even though I did just like, accidentally step on the spikes twice there. Um, so we're not even gonna use, uh, well, yeah, that was really dumb of me. We're not even going to use bombs just because of the uh, fact that 4th level Meat Boy might kick them back at us. So We're, we're going to be one-shotting most enemies. Plenty of keys to get through to the chest. Miter, Relic, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus. But don't tell me we didn't work for this, because we fucking worked for this, man. I got no HP upgrades from bosses over the course of the entire game. None. I, got, I even got a health downgrade pill. That's some bullshit. I am taking kind of a little bit of dumb damage here. Kind of a lot of dumb damage, actually, so... Yeah, with with literally zero HP upgrades from bosses, any way that I can snag a win, I'm gonna be happy with. We got one HP upgrade from Guppy's uh, tail. Well, from a golden chest, I should say. Probably a direct result of having Guppy's tail, though. And we gotta do damage as quickly as possible here, because Meat Boy is gonna cause this guy to fire out of fucking control, so... That was maybe some of the fastest we've ever killed. Isaac. Now we head down to the chest, and it's a long trip to get to that boss room. But we get Mom's Contact for real, which is fucking nuts. And Guardian Angel, which we'll take. Everything else is gonna get rerolled. Mom's Pad. Uh, I mean, it's pretty tempting to take Mom's Pad with us. We now have the most powerful run of all time. Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, Mom's Contacts is just stupid good. And there we go. We may end up taking Mom's Pad into the boss fight. Seems like that would be a guaranteed win, basically. Not that it isn't basically that already. Didn't even hit him with the full swing of Mom's knife there. It was just like a, a little touch. Um, we'll reroll the magnet just because we're here. Hey, attack fly. It's not my favorite attack fly version, but that's okay. Can't always get what you want. And we get uh, lard. There's the first HP upgrade. Oh, no, that's not even. I was going to say from a boss, but uh, no, that's from a golden chest again. And I feel really good about this run. You might disagree. You might call me the you know the scum of the earth in the Binding of Isaac. But all you got to do is survive long enough for Isaac to give you the greatest run of all time. And a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We beat Isaac without taking damage. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Hashtag the streak. And I'll see you next time.